Now to the New York City Marathon. Thousands of runners powered through 26.2 miles across all five boroughs. They started their day on Staten Island, then ran through Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx before ending in Manhattan. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner was at the finish line in Central Park. Around 50,000 people from all over the world completed the New York City Marathon with unseasonably warm temperatures, but at the end, they said the spirit was unmatched. Oh my God, it was so, whew, in Brooklyn, man, so much energy, we loved it. My, my first marathon, and it's amazing, incredible. The 26.2 mile course of the New York City Marathon was filled with cheers, applause, and creative signs Sunday. You got this. We love you. Harry up because his name's Harry. And then we had Annabelle run. Annabelle run. Made the whole difference. Means the world. Sharon Locati of Kenya won the women's race and is the eighth person in New York City history to win her marathon debut. Evans Chabet of Kenya is the first man to win the New York City Marathon and the Boston Marathon in the same year since 2011. Daniel Donashimiento of Brazil had been leading the entire men's race but collapsed 21 miles in. Chabet spoke through a translator. He said it was hard for him to race, especially because it was hot. In the professional wheelchair division, Marcel Hoog of Switzerland won his fifth career marathon, and American Susanna Scaroni snatched her first title. The 51st edition of the marathon had temperatures around the mid 70s. Runners of all experience levels cited the heat as a challenge. The bridges are no joke. <laughs> So, but I got under four hours, so that was my goal. And I saw a lot of people out there struggling in the heat. It kept it getting cooler when we were finishing, so I think it really helped a lot. Uh, I did a little Mario jump when I when I got to my once. <laughs> I decided early this year I was going to uh, go to Burning Man and walk jog the marathon. Celebrity Ashton Kutcher said he was exhausted, but it was worth it to raise money for the organization Thorn, dedicated to ending child sex trafficking. There were several times when I was running that I thought to myself, you know what, there's some kid out there that's being abused right now, and if we can bring more attention to that, I think that we can make a difference. Several other celebrities ran the marathon, all raising money for good causes. In Central Park, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.